Oriental eyes are known for having relatively smaller eyes. We call it Sinkit in Filipino. Up on stage or in front of the camera, Oriental eyes really look smaller and almost closed. So we need to find a way to make it bigger and defined. Here's how. For this step-by-step -step chinita eye makeup, I would like to have a little bit of dewiness on the skin. So basically, I am using dewy lights from Wicon. And for the skin, I'm using a Tom Ford Traceless Foundation Stick. Only a little amount, so I'm putting it a little bit on the jawline, a little bit on the cheekbone, and a little bit on the forehead, side of the nose, and blend it all over. And for under the eyes, we're going to apply a little bit of concealer. I'm choosing one shade slider. So to open up the eyes even more. Bridge of the nose, tip of the nose, cupid bow. And a little bit on the chin. On the outer perimeter of the face, I'm going to use a velvet finish powder from Makeup Forever to tame down a little bit of dewiness on certain part of the face. So basically, we just want to have that kind of healthy glow without making it look so oily. So basically, on the outer part, a little bit on this side. little bit loose powder for under the eyes bit of a uh, florid on the upper part of the cheek so I want to concentrate the blush on on the uh, outer part of the cheekbone and then the nose line and I'm making sure the socket a little bit extra contour so we want to bring up a little bit of depth on the inner socket of the eyes and a little bit of contour I'm using Deity Dust on the crease area and bring it upward to the temple of the face and I'm using Cafe on the outer part of the eyes. I'm using gelato for the entire eyelid. I'm going to use Vita as a transition color. 
I want to achieve that rose gold mood of makeup. And a little bit of color under the eyes. So I'm using gelato. I'm going to use a little amount of dark brown soul from Amore palette on the outer part of the lash line. And then using a smaller ponytail brush Actually, I'm going to blend a little bit higher on the crease area using the same color because you want to create the illusion that her eyes a little bit lift up to give a frame so that the eyes will appear longer And a little bit of offering, a matte black finish on the outer part of the lashes. Open. As in a little triangle lang guys. Of course, black eyeliner is life. By using a pencil, draw an outline beneath the lashes to enhance the shape of the eye. This line will also make the lashes look lush. So I'm using a um, Dainty Dust Palette using a fan brush. I added another line using Tevian Liquid Eyeliner in Virago for a cleaner and sharper, seamless outline on the eye. And to elongate the eyes even more, extend the line towards the outer corner of the eyes. To add more texture, I will add the color Harris from Tevian Horus Eyeshadow Palette on the upper eyelid. I added another color which is the debutant above the eyelid. This will draw more attention to the eyes. For the lashes, I am opted to have a very nice full lashes to make the chinita eyes pop or open up even more. Adding false lashes will create more impact on the shape of the eyes. For an illusion of a longer nose, connect the head of the inner corner of the brow to the tip of the nose by creating a straight line using a darker shades of powder. For a rose gold kind of uh, makeup pack today, so the blush on I'm using Arantxa and concentrated on the outer part of the cheeks. And 
then for the eyebrow, I'm I would like to tone it down a little bit. So basically, I'm going to brush the hair just to see. And we will fill in the gap a little bit and on the natural finish yung gusto natin. We are using the Empress and then wet the, the flat brush and then follow the stroke of the eyebrows to have those natural stroke of brow hair. It is very important to outline the lips first before applying the lipstick as this will define the shape of the lips better. And for the lipstick, we outline a little bit using a lip liner and fill in the lips with lay of Tevian Lip Spell. Makeup can completely change the shape of your eyes but always remember that knowing the right techniques will help you to achieve this look. If you have questions, I'd be happy to answer them on the comment box below. Hope this video has been helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. This is Albert. See you again.